In this video today guys, I'm going to quickly explain how changing one setting in Windows can actually fix your FPS drops in Fortnite. That's right guys, if you're on Windows 10 or Windows 11, it doesn't matter, changing this one setting could help you out a ton. So if the video does help out, feel free to drop a like on it and subscribe for more like this one. We're going over to our desktop guys, the setting that we're going to be changing today is with the uptime and the Windows fast boot feature. But firstly, I need you all to test something right now, so go over to your Windows desktop, again it can be Windows 10 or 11 and do the following thing, press Control, Alt and Delete at the same time and then click the Task Manager button right here guys and this will open up your Task Manager. Alternatively you can just type in Task Manager into the Windows search box and get it up that way but as soon as it's opened up guys you want to click the Performance tab at the top left corner right there and go down to where it says Uptime right here. You can see that my PC has apparently been up for two days when it literally hasn't. Like I turned off my PC yesterday but according to Windows, it never turned off, and that's what's causing the FPS drops for a lot of you out there. Your PC runtime could be anywhere from two days, maybe even one day, to like 30 days in some crazy cases. And today, I'm going to show you how to disable this so your PC actually turns off and fully like shuts down. To do it, guys, all you've got to do is go over to your desktop, click on the start bar at the bottom right corner right there, and type in power. And it should bring up these options right here that says power and sleep settings, just like that. Once you're in this screen, you want to go over to the right hand side where it says additional power settings click on that and then inside of here guys you want to go over to the left hand side where it says choose what power buttons do click on that and then right here guys under shutdown settings you can see the turn on fast startup which is recommended apparently is enabled right there guys and we want to change this because all it does is it helps your pc uh, start up faster after shutdown but what this causes is it causes your pc to not fully shut down that's why it's able to actually boot up faster but to be honest this isn't really needed i believe if you're on an ssd which these days in 2022 a lot of people are so i myself i'm going to turn this off so my pc fully restarts and to do it all you've got to do is click change settings that are currently unavailable just like so and then press that button right there and that disables it just like so and save changes and now what i'm going to do guys is i'm going to restart my pc and check my uptime and i'll also let you know how much of a difference it actually made like does my pc take it just to boot up i'll find out and let you guys know right now all right guys and just like that i'm back i've just restarted my pc and now let's check to see if the uptime has been reset so if i press ctrl or delete at the same time open up my task manager then click on the performance tab right there and go down to the bottom boom you can see it has been reset and i'm on two minutes and 23 seconds right there guys so my pc has actually been 100 percent shut down which i'm really happy about my performance now should be a lot better than it was before and for you guys out there that do the same thing if your pc has been up for like literally 30 days which is very possible for some pcs out there i can guarantee the fps difference you'll be getting in game will be crazy that's just a fact because there's no way your PC is on its highest performance possible when it's been like running for 30 days straight or rather like technically running through the uptime if that makes sense. But guys in terms of um, how fast my PC actually booted up I couldn't really tell a difference from disabling the setting in itself to be fair and I think it's because of my SSD. Right now guys I do have my Windows operating system on my SSD and I feel like because of that right there I didn't really notice a difference at all. However for you guys out there that don't have an SSD and you do disable the fast startup setting I think you might notice a difference but it's not the end of the world because if you want to revert it guys you just do what I did again go in the start menu type in power and sleep settings click on additional power settings right there guys and then you can literally do what we did before click choose what power buttons do and then where it says change settings that are currently unavailable you can literally turn the setting back on just like that and your pc will fast start up again it's really easy but for me myself guys i'm going to go ahead and keep this turned off because i do like that my pc is now fully shut down the meme on screen right here has been defeated because I've turned off fast boot setting, which is awesome. But guys, if this video helped out, feel free to drop a like on it and let me know if you want more videos like this one in the future. Catch you all in the next one. Peace.